Hello and welcome to Dear Online Services. In this video we are going to take a look at the IFAS Online Birth Notification Process for Bovine Animals. The IFAS Online Birth Notification Process replaces the need to fill out a paper MC1 form. We have logged on to Dear Online Services and selected the IFAS Online application and are currently viewing our home screen. To notify a birth we go to the Birth Death menu option and select Notify Birth. You are asked for six pieces of mandatory information and also have the option to record SAR information if you wish. Using the online form you can pick the information from the drop down lists. Starting at the top you have your animal number or tag number of the new calf. Click on the drop down list and you will see a list of tags that are currently available to use on the herd. Every time you notify a calf the number gets taken off the list and every time you order a new set of tags the numbers get added onto the list. So I'm going to start now with her first calf, which is 2376 bar 3. Then select the colour, breed and sex of the calf. To select the date of birth, click on the calendar icon. It will bring up today's date. Select the correct date of birth, in our case the 26th of November. You can go back more than the late notification rule, but if you do happen to notify your calf late, you will get an NNO status against your calf. The dam number of the cow can be picked from the drop-down list of all the cows in the herd. What you may see in this list is some calves that have left the herd. For example, maybe you have sold it recently or the animal has died, but the number will remain on this list of dam numbers for 30 days after, after it has left the herd to give you a chance to get the calf registered correctly. In this example, the cow is in the herd and I'm looking for animal number 1881 bar 5. That is all the mandatory information required to notify your birth. The system will not let you notify an animal onto your herd without these six pieces of information. Sire information is optional as it is not required under IRM regulations, but DEER recommends that keepers should record sire information when possible. If you wish to record SAR information, select the Yes radio button and you can enter one or more pieces of SAR data. To record the tag number of a SAR which is currently in your herd or has been in your herd in the past 12 months, select the appropriate number from the drop down list labelled Stock Bull. To record the breed of the SAR, select the appropriate breed from the drop down list displayed. If you know the NMR National Milk Record AI code, enter the valid six digit code in the NMR AI box. The other box enables you to enter any free text information you wish, such as the name of the SAR or another identifiable code. Once you are happy you have recorded all the information and it is correct, click the Add Animal button. And you will see the key information is displayed at the bottom of the screen in the Animals Ready to be Notified section. It hasn't been notified and added to your herd list as yet, as in many cases you may want to notify more calves. So now I'm going to go back and select another calf to notify. This time I don't want to record any SAR information, so I'll select the No radio button and click the Add Animal button. And now if I scroll down to the bottom of the screen, I can see I have two calves in the Ready to be Notified section. Once you are content all the information is correct, you need to click the Notify button. On clicking the Notify button, the system will check to make sure there are no errors or mistakes in the notifications. The most common one being a birth conflict, and a birth conflict error means the dam you have chosen for your calf already has a calf registered to it less than nine months ago. If the notification has been successful, you will get a green success confirmation message on screen, and the animals will be added to your herd list. You will also get an email to the email address you have registered with DARA, which you can keep for your records. That is all my notifications complete, so all that is left for me to do now is to log out. So I'll click the Exit Application button and click Continue with Logout. And we get a reminder showing us what actions we completed while logged on during this session. If you are content, then click the Continue with Logout button. And that is me securely logged out of DARE Online Services. 
I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions about the AFIS Online birth notification process or would like more information about the services available, please contact us using the details on screen.